the champion's contract, if you kill the person that's on it, you will be able to pick that contract up and continue the progress on it. You're gonna have 150 core health. Gas masks are also now gonna be manually put on with stims. We'll also now take that, give you a speed boost. The speed of this is so much faster. You dive, you can start shooting almost right away. There is still a delay with it, but it is much faster. And even with the gas mask that you can manually pull down, that now counters the tear gas. When you're swimming, when you're climbing ladders, when you're hanging on the ledge, always get a pistol, even if you don't have it in your loadout. So people can't just dive bomb back from the gulag, land in water, end game, and then just start pistoling in. You got a full loadout, you can't do anything against it. If you are in the water, you will get a pistol. Mantling is way faster. If you're sprinting into a mantle, you fly over the edge. There's now horizontal zip lines. And the way the gulag works now is there is an exit in the gulag that is a ascender so you go to the middle and you take the ascender up and if you, that's how you get out rather than capturing a flag at the end but it's 1v1 gulags it's no longer 2v2 at the beginning with these awkward asymmetrical sides three lane classic gulag plus there's three new perks in the game combat scout is back welcome to urzikstan let's go take the grand tour we got a chop, baby! Yeah. Okay, so starting down in Zaravan City, there's the burger shop. Look at the city tops. This is what I was talking about. The zip lines, the ascenders, now not only are up and down, they are from building to building. On top of that, the ascenders are now inside of these cranes. And if you get caught out of zone, hopefully rotate even quicker. There's now a perk that will also make the zone do less damage to you. Now I go over to the suburbs here. A lot of apartment buildings, outside ascenders, of course, inside buildings you can go to. I can look at this complete island. It's just so densely packed. Cover is everywhere. Now we'll go through the middle of the map here, starting at farms over on the right side. Very similar to Verdansk Farm as we work our way now to the middle of the map. This is going to be the high threat zone. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. I need to find another chopper. I just get crushed the redeploys also land launch you so much further coming into old town in addition to of course this map bondel is remaining and ashika is remaining as well almaz looks like it is only going to be for dmz although i don't know if they're going to continue to build that in rotation look at the center of the map here and of course, I've been working on some of the nukes. Champion's Quest is still going to be here. It's not going to be here until mid-season, but if you kill the person that's doing the Champion's Quest, you will also be able to hijack it, and the team that kills them, fix it up, can work on the Champion's Quest themselves. Here we go! First drop, baby! 